Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. I was away on vacation, but you know what? We're going to get into some stuff here that I missed and get some honest reactions from me. But you know what? First, I've been out of the loop for a couple of weeks. So if you could try to hit the like button and the subscribe button so we can get that YouTube algorithm back in the working for us. Anyways, let's get right into it. First up, we're going to head over to TFformers.com and check out the Hot Wheels Transformers official images of Trackfleet Optimus Prime. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, this thing is totally badass. So, you know what, like Optimus Prime here, this is just basically an Optimus Prime truck with Hot Wheels wheels and it's going to be pretty sweet. I have to be honest, like I am excited for this. Um, it is pretty sweet and i i need to get this i'm not a hot wheels collector but this thing is going to be pretty cool oh picture didn't low anyways yeah super cool now they also have bumblebee uh he's coming as well um i'm not really as sold on bumblebee i don't like that big wheel he's just he's a little funky looking but he's he does the job but it just he's not for me hopefully with any luck they'll have some more autobots come down the the line because they're cars obviously but this first thing here this hot wheels non-transforming optimus prime very cool and i'm gonna pre-order this guy Sticking with more news on TFformers.com, we'll take a look at the Wave 3 official images. Uh, these came out while I was away. Of course, you got Springer, you got Skywarp, you got 86 Bumblebee, you got the Gamer Force, and of course, Steeljaw, Core Series. Um, we'll skip down a bit here to the bottom to get into the pictures. First up is the Springer. This is Leader Springer. Um, he's a little bit bigger than the previous release. I spent a lot of time looking for the previous original release, so uh, I'm gonna pretty much, for me, gonna stick with that one because for me, I don't really know if there's enough of a difference here. I mean, the car looks cool. The helicopter looks cool. There he is in the box or whatever. I have images here. We'll flip over. But this is the comparison, the size comparison. This is the Amazon one on the right, the new one on the left, and basically, Basically, I really don't think it's worth an upgrade. That's just my opinion. Like, if you didn't have a Springer, you need the leader. But if you have a Springer already, I don't think it. Look at the difference. There's a, like the wheel is a little bit different. The shoulders a little different. The size is negligible. Like, I mean, it's it's hardly any different. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. Anyways, next up we have Steeljaw Core Series. I missed a pre-order. It happened while I was away on vacation, and I haven't been able to find this guy yet for pre-order. I'll find him somewhere, but this guy is super sweet. You got to get him if you got Legacy Blaster or 86 Blaster. Um, he's a musket, and this core series is rocking it with the tapes. Loving it with Rumble Frenzy. Now we have Steeljaw. Give me some more, please. Keep them coming. Next up, Game Reverse. I don't care. I don't do this stuff, so sorry. Not interested. Pass. Um, next up we have 86 Bumblebee. I mean the robot form. I think it looks decent. I think it looks cool I think they did what they didn't do. I don't know about this car though I really don't know if you look at it closely. It looks more like cliff jumper It's like they married cliff jumper and bumblebee together to be like hey We're gonna do a repaint at some point. So we're gonna make it like semi cliff jumper as well I don't really know I'm not really sold on the car mode the robot mode rocks it and I think it's a good addition But the car mode ooh, I'm not really sure Anyway, so we'll, we'll see how it works out. Once again, I got to find a place to pre-order it. I don't have a place right now. Uh, there's the box. I mean, it's going to be cool. Oh, let me just load. Okay, yeah, more box. Anyways, yeah, 23 steps to transform that little guy. I mean, ugh. Okay, anyways, next up we got Bumblebee Skywarp. Bumblebee movie Skywarp. I mean, was he even in the movie? Let me know in the comments below. Was he even in the movie? I don't think he was. I mean, was he at the beginning? I can't remember. Anyways. I'm not interested in this guy. I don't do movie figures, so I mean, somebody will like it though. Next up, flipping over to Cybertron.com, another great site. We're looking at more figures here. Images of Legacy Star Raider Deluxe Lockdown have come out. And you know what? Hey, I'm not sold on this guy, I'll be honest with you. Like, I talked about this before, I think, and originally I thought they were going to do more of an animated look for him. We all knew Lockdown was coming from the original poster that was teased from the Transformers team, but this Lockdown's not doing it for me. Like, it's it's uh, it's not what I thought it was going to be. Like, I really want an animated one, and you can see it versus the more recent Lockdown from one of the other previous Transformer lines. That is a cool Lockdown, 
The one on the left, I'm sorry. Oh, you missed the mark completely. And originally I was going to pre-order it. I'm not even touching it with a stick now. Um, sorry, guys. I don't like it. I don't think it looks like Lockdown. I wanted an animated Lockdown. Hopefully, with any luck, they'll go back and do the animated one like the Legacy Animated Prime and Animated Bumblebee. But this Lockdown completely missed the mark for me. He's a no-go for me. I don't know why you guys let me know. Now jumping over to TFW 2005, this one is uh, came out when, when I came back, but I figured I'd include it in this video. You've got the newest dead Autobots, you've got dead Brawn and dead Autobot Ratchet. I mean, people kind of love, hate these figures. I mean, they seem to end up on clearance a lot of times. You've got Brawn, he looks pretty cool. I need a Brawn. You've got Ratchet, it's pretty much, you know, standard stuff here. They've got bullet holes in them uh, where they're getting shot. The Braun one is like somebody took like a soldering gun or something like that and just put it through Braun's shoulder. Here it is, 23 to transform there, 25 to transform Ratchet. I mean, uh, I don't know. I don't know how these guys are going to do. That purple thing coming out of his chest looks pretty cool. The blast effects, so that's cool. Um, but I don't know if these ones are going to be hot sellers. Uh, I'd rather a regular brawn over the one with the bullet hole in them. Anyway, so we'll see how they go, but they're brand new really uh, brand new reveals and I just figured I would include them in this video. Hopefully somebody out there wants to see them. Jumping back over to tfformers.com, we've got the Decepticon Commander Pack, leaked images of Hasbro's Transformer set. Um, I'm going to be honest with you here. I don't know what Hasbro was thinking about this set. Like, I don't know who the set is for. I don't know who's going to buy it. It basically includes uh, Cyberverse Warrior molds of basically uh, Starscream, uh, Shockwave, and Soundwave. And, I mean... I, I'm not really sure who this is for, like who's buying this? I mean, look at these alt forms. You got Shockwave, he's like a tank or a gun or a turret. You got Starscream, that jet mode. Oh my gosh, wow, that's uh, whoo, crazy. You got Soundwave, he's a car. Um, I'm not really sure who this is for, and I don't know who's gonna be buying it, because I feel if you were a collector of Cyberverse, you'd already have all this stuff. Yeah, are you buying it for your kids? I'm not really sure. Still on TFformers.com. Now, this was the big one while I was away. Hot Wheels Collector Omnibus Prime official images, details from Mattel Creations. This thing has been blowing people up on the internet, and basically, it's a Hot Wheels set, and it's either a die cast vehicle or it can be a transformer and it's fully transformable it's pretty cool it's very small though it's only I think three inches tall and it's fully die cast there it is compared to the original transformer uh, but it still transforms which looks pretty cool this is this is a lot of Hot Wheel collectors are going crazy for this but basically it's pretty cool because it can display either as a Hot Wheel on a blister or a transformer and you can put it back in the box and displays as a transformer on a card so it's pretty cool I think I mean it was sold out in 20 minutes it's you can't get it anymore so I mean people have it up on eBay ready to sell um, I think I think a lot of people are gonna enjoy this not for me I wouldn't spend I think it was $80 USD which was $120 Canadian not for me but I can understand where people would enjoy this so pretty cool addition to the Transformers collection now, jumping back to TFW 2005, this was the big news. This was the pipeline reveals from the fan stream for a few days ago while I was on vacation. And you got a bunch of heavy hitters here. Generation 1 Optimus Prime, um, with a, you know, toy accurate Generation 1 Optimus Prime. Metal Hawk cartoon colors, um, pretty cool. You've got this uh, leader Soundwave, people have been waiting for that one forever. You got Galvatron, Quake, Energon Galvatron. Animated Motormaster, uh, Cyberverse Slipstream, and the Boulder Guy. So here we got closer, bigger shots. Energon, Cybertron, of course, a repaint. Uh, the Boulder Guy, a repaint. You got Quake, a new figure, but a retool. So pretty, still pretty cool. Um, let's see, who else is next? Oh, you got Slipstream. Not really interested in Cyberverse Slipstream. Generation 1. Toy Accurate Optimus Prime, is it a Missing Link type figure or is it going to be a new mold? I'm very interested to see more details on this guy. Uh, let's see, yeah. 
So next we got Metal Hawk. I'm not really sure why they did this. They're gonna do toy accurate colors. I mean, he was a bit of a shelf warmer in my area of town, so I don't know. And this one really, I like this one. Animated Motor Master. You knew it was coming. They had to use that animated mold for something, and this is it. This one is a must, must get for all animated fans that couldn't get that BotCon exclusive that time. Anyways, this one, Leader Soundwave. People have been dying for more information on this. They've missed out on the Netflix one. They need this. This is a must pre-order. Of course, it comes with three tapes, which we assume will be Laserbeak, Ravage, and Rumble. Um, but this one is for sure a must get. Excited for this and to see him in person. Uh, of course, we knew the Galvatron was coming because he's been advertised on the title Titan Wave box. Um, that's pretty cool. And then last, we're just back to the set. A lot of cool figures. Some like Generation 1 fans, Optimus Prime. Of course, now last but not least, you have Generation 1 or Marvel Comics Straxus. Uh, he looks just like the comic book. He's a little funky looking, I have to admit. That face is a little funky. Not for me, but I'm sure comic book fans out there are going to love this guy. You know, he comes right from the comic book pages, and he's part of this comic book series with Grimlock and Shockwave. Uh, I want that Shockwave. Um, but yeah, it's cool. It makes the little bookend set there with the uh, animation. Really cool addition to the, the collection. Of course, he's up for pre-order as of now. So that was the May recap while I was away. Anyway, so the next video up will be a toy hunting video from my vacation. Check it out. It will be, appear here. For now, head back to the Transformers playlist, find another Transformers video to watch, and we'll catch you in the next video.